I'm Mike, N2MAK. And I'm Ben, W2BMK. We're two ops and we're gonna do a twofer POTA activation here at the Genesee Valley Greenway State Park and the Erie Canalway National Heritage Corridor. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get started, let me quickly explain what a twofer is. Parks on the air in the U.S. includes both state and national parks. Some of these parks and trails span multiple counties and even states. This can create overlaps where another park or trail is within another reference. In fact, there can be twofers, threefers, fourfers, and even fivefers. What's interesting about this location is we're at a county park. However, it's public land and within the Erie Canalway National Heritage Corridor. Plus, the Genesee Valley Greenway State Park, which is similar to a trail, runs right through it. This creates a POTA twofer. We'll be using the Wolf River Coils 102 inch whip on a mag mount. Without the coil and fully extended, it's a resonant quarter wave vertical for 10 meters. All right, we're all set up. Uh, gonna look for a frequency to get started on and call CQ on 10 meters. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is Whiskey 2, Bravo Mike Kilo calling CQ for parks on the air at park number Kilo 8069 and Kilo 6532, a twofer with two operators. Yours, Ed. Roger, Victor Alpha 5, Yankee, Oscar, Yankee, YOY, QSL. Roger, Roger, got it that time. Great signal. You're close to 5-9 here in western New York at two parks, Kilo 8069 and Kilo 6532. And if that's not enough for you, I got a second operator when you're ready, QSL. QSL, QSL on the parks, and yeah, you are a good 5758 five, into Saskatchewan. Sierra Kilo, QSL. QSL, yeah, no, thanks to the 5.8 Saskatchewan. We're running uh, 10 watts with a uh, quarter wave vertical. I'm going to hand it over to the second operator right now. Stand by. Victor Alpha 5, Yankee Oscar Yankee. This is Whiskey 2, Bravo Mike Kilo, QSL. QSL, QSL, you are also 5.7, a 5.7 Saskatchewan. Sierra Kilo, QSL. QSL, QSL, and uh, I have you a 5.7 again, and uh, 73s, thanks for the contact. All right, we just finished up the activation, got about 16 in the log on 10 meters, and then also on uh, 17 meters with a ham stick we put on to get a few more. Uh, now we got to get these logs done. Uh, we're going to need to do two logs for each operator, so that's four logs in total. It's real easy to do in Hammers. Let me show you how. Hammers is a great logging app for POTA. First, click the gear icon next to the log and select duplicate. Here you can change the call sign and or park reference, as well as the name of the file. First, we'll change the park reference to the second park number. We'll also update the file name so it includes the new park number. Now we have a new and separate log for Kilo 6532. It has all the contact information from the original log. The only difference is that the contacts are now for Kilo 6532 instead of Kilo 8069. Now that my two logs are ready, we can duplicate them for Ben. Instead of changing the park number, this time we'll be changing the call sign. Make sure to change the file name for the log too, so it has the correct call sign. While you still see my call sign in there, Let's take a look at the contacts in the log. Select a contact and click edit. Here you can see that we have all the original info from the QSO. However, it's now updated for Ben's call sign. We'll duplicate my log for Kilo 6532 and change the call sign for Ben. We'll take another quick look at a contact and see that the log is updated for Ben's call sign. Now we have all four logs ready to go. Just export the log and upload the ADIF files to POTA. It's that easy. I'm Mike, N2MAK. And I'm Ben, W2BMK. Make sure to subscribe and smash like. 
Thanks for watching. 7-3. Do that again <laughs> without the awkward pause. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. All right. I'm Mike, N2MAK. And I'm Ben, W2BMK.